CBS News Update. I'm Dave Barrett. Proud to serve and connected to the Halifax area. Seventy-two degrees along the world's most famous beach, headed for a high of ninety-four. It's eight thirty-two, and this is the WNDB Morning News. Good morning, I'm Mark Williams. Our top local story: the governor's office is washing its hands in that in-house squabble between a Holly Hill City Commissioner and two of the city's top cops. Commissioner Liz Towsley is accusing Public Safety Director Don Shinneman and Police Commander Mark Barker with everything from conspiracy to the misuse of public office. The governor's lawyer, Robert Wheeler, sending Holly Hill government a letter saying the accusations don't appear to be criminal in nature, and if they want an investigation, use an out-of-town police department to do all that work. An Orange County judge has granted a $500,000 bond for 22-year-old Casey Anthony. However, she still remains in the Orange County jail this morning. She is being held for the disappearance of her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee. On the stand during Tuesday's bond hearing, Kaylee's grandmother, Cindy Anthony, described her reaction of learning that the girl had vanished. I was in shock that Kaylee was missing. And at that very moment, I didn't know what to do, and I was bombarded with police officers. I, and then, when I had my first alone time with Casey, our focus primarily was to tell all of her friends and get the word out. Orange County deputies say they have yet to get consistent answers from Casey Anthony in the disappearance of two-year-old Kaylee. As the ad says, life comes at you fast, and that is the slogan that has never been no more true than today as companies continue to downsize and the construction industry remains in a blue funk. However, Volusia County has an assistance program for folks down on their luck. Director Ed Jasper says if his office can't solve your problem, they partner with other nonprofit agencies to seek a solution. We are working to strengthen all of those partnerships that we have, but when folks come into our office, we do bridge them out and say, we cannot help you, but here's an agency that can, and, and we try to follow them and track them through, through those referral services. Jasper says his agency has roughly $1.5 million in their budget to help, and those seeking a hand must meet certain criteria, such as the size of a family and its income. In business news this morning, one of the major carriers at the Daytona Beach International Airport reporting a huge second quarter loss. U.S. Airways says higher fuel prices are being blamed for a $567 million shortfall in their corporate checkbook. That compares with the profit of $263 million for the same three months last year. The big board's closing bell signaled the end of an up trading day on Tuesday. The Dow Jones Industrials, which fell early in the session, closed with a gain of more than 135 points. The Nasdaq Composite rose by about 24 and a half. The Standard & Poor's 500 added 17. Traffic and weather next, WNDV Morning News Time, 835. Hello, hello, hello. It's now time to start the show. Hi, I'm Tom from Exit Beach Realty. You know, the real estate market has just gone through a tremendous correction, but now really is the time to start buying. Prices are so attractive, and there is mortgage money out there. People are writing FHA mortgages. Affordability has come back. This is the way to go. You can go for an FHA mortgage and get a house today for little or no money down, and the affordability is there, so the mortgage will be something that you can handle. At Exit Beach Realty, we spend specialize in this process. You know, my wife, Carol, is the hardest working realtor I know. So give her a call at 441-1141 and get into a house today before the prices start going the other way. Whether buying or selling your home, call Tom and Carol Blonde today at Exit Beach Realty. That's 441-1141. That's Exit Beach Realty. 836 at News Talk 1150 WNDB. You're hearing the morning news. Let's check traffic and weather together. Starting with WNDB's Jennifer Keith. Morning, Miss Jen. Well, hey, Mr. News. A crash is reported now on I-4 Westbound. This report's brought to you by Orkin Pest Control. We have a wreck reported on I-4 Westbound at Dirksen. Use caution as you approach that area on your way towards Seminole County. I-4 Eastbound traffic is not affected. Things look pretty good on I-95 as well. Bite the bite with Orkin when you buy mosquito service. Orkin will make a donation to help fight the spread of malaria in Africa. Visit mosquito.orkin.com to learn more. I'm Jennifer Keith, News Talk 1150 WNDB. 
Times of clouds and sunshine today with a thunderstorm in spots, especially in the afternoon and evening. Highs of 89 to 93. Partly cloudy overnight, low 71 to 75. I'm meteorologist Ted Azair. 72 degrees along the world's most famous beach. Our next news at 9 o'clock from the CBS Radio Network. We're proud to serve Volusia and Flagler counties at 1150 WNDB. The entire world on the internet at WNDB.am. With bulletins at once, I'm Mark Williams. WNDB Morning News Time, 8.37. Delightful, dependable, luxurious, discreet. It's the only way to-